Alexa, what's a crab opening? Here's something I found on the web. According to ChicagoTribune.com, the happy crab is a cheery if anonymous Chinese leaning seafood spot in Greek town. Mm. Seafood. Wait, let me Google this. Crab opening? Crab opening chess. The crab opening. Oh, the where open? What's a where? A4. Oh, so this. Oh, like a crab. Like, ah. That's what crabs do, right? I guess that makes sense. I'm tired of sea animals. My oh. foot got stung by a stingray earlier today. Oh, that sounds undesirable. I found I found a crab. So this is like the the a pawn, and this is h pawn. So I either have to play. I guess if I'm white, I'll try and play crab, and if I'm black, I'll try and play a Grunfeld. I feel like those are the most opposite openings. <laughs> like one super serious theoretical approved by MVL and Svidler and the other just named after seafood. Playing Fool Dan. Oh, so do I play the crab or the bond cloud? I haven't not played either yet. This is rate. This is rated rapid. I think the, cr the crab is probably slightly better than... Let's play the crab. I feel so bad playing this. <laughs> playing the crab. Okay, n now now we're reverting to serious chess. I did I did the crab thing. Crab, be happy. And now it's it's chess time. How to justify this? Probably this move. I have some uh, some kind of opening. Yeah, this is like a delayed Scandi down a tempo where I've committed to a4 and h4. I guess I'll try and justify it. Huh. I'm realizing like if I take and c5 happens, I, I can't access either of these squares, which are usually the squares I want to access. So I think I'll take with knight. And then just try and develop. Okay, c5. What is this? c5 is probably a good move. Let's move back. And develop. I really can't complain with this. I'm getting development. We each have two minor pieces developed. I'm controlling some interesting squares with my rook pawns. I feel so crab-like. The problem is these squares are a bit more weak, because these pawns can't move backwards. I guess no crab is perfect. That's a really annoying move, because I don't want to lose this pawn, but I also don't really want to play this or this. I guess I can play b3. There's queen b4, queen d2, or bishop d2. Life will go on. The plan is just to like develop things and get the king safe. Hey, it's Jake. Happy Sunday, Jake Mister. Cake. Rosen. Ooh. Thanks for subbing for two months. Yeah, happy Sunday. Appreciate that. Oh, I'm playing Fool Dan. We played once before. Vaguely remember this game. So Fool Dan is, is searching for revenge. Alright, that move makes me feel less threatened. So 
So I could... If I throw an a5, I guess Bach can just take it. There's knight g5, which is interesting. There's also a debate, do I move my bishop? In which square do I move my bishop to? Hmm. At first I was thinking bishop here, but then I don't know if I want to trade it off. So let's develop it this way. Have to manage my time. <laughs> time to crush station. Crush station. Aha. Yeah, I'll I'll try and do whatever that means. I am in good shape to attack. Like the H pawn the H pawn serves a purpose of like trying to scare away black from casting king's side. A pawn does the same thing on the queen side. Black castles anyway. Now the question is do I actually have anything? I guess I should complete development. I'm hesitant to castle because I kind of want my rook staying behind the h pawn. So I might end up just playing like king f1, king g1. But I guess we'll see. Let's play this. The attack is brewing. Alexa, tell me a crab pun. What does a crab call his ex? What? His old bay. Ah. <laughs> like bay. Wait. Oh, like chess bay. Or like ocean bay. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Not sure not sure how that compares to the crush station. Crush Tation pun. That was better or worse. Knight B4 is a decent move. Yeah, I was kind of scared of this. But. Do crabs feel fear? I'm not sure. Alexa. Are crabs capable of feeling fear? Here's something I found on the web. Mm. According to CNN.com. Love those crabs. <laughs> okay. I guess that answers my question. But not really. Let's play C3. Man, CNN too. Very reliable source. Okay, I can move back. Maybe this move. Yeah. Play this move. Again, the attack is still brewing. I, I want my bishop to return to d3. This will be like the, the head or the heart of the crab. This will be the claw. This is the other claw. The other claw is not really doing much. But I'm feeling I'm feeling like an optimistic crab. I'm wondering if I can just leave my knight there. Just leave my knight there. Crabs don't really make well thought out decisions, do they? They just rely on instincts and try and snap away. All I want to do is open the h-file. There's some kind of bishop h7. There's a crazy line. Takes, takes, knight e4, takes, takes, takes. Uh, g6, bishop e5 threatening mate. 
and then takes, takes, and I'm still threatening mate. And then I guess f6, but then I take. It should be winning for white. Yeah, the ball is in black's court. The other day, I went to Trader Joe's and I bought I bought crab cakes, but they're vegan crab cakes. So I don't think they have real crab. But it was like crabless crab cakes. They're delicious. Oh, we might be going into this line too. Ooh. Or not. Whoa, it's Dom Silver. Marco. Polo. Thanks for the bits. Marco bits. So there's a weird line here. Can this game get weirder? Bishop h7. King f8. Bishop g8. And if king takes g8, then a queen enters h7 and I mate. I can't resist. I can't resist. It's too much fun. Bishop g8 coming. Let's go. Wait, does it do anything though? It might not do anything, but it's so much fun. Is this move too? Oh, it's so close to mate. There's a crazy line. Bishop g6 takes. Rook here. Oh, I guess there's bishop g8. I was calculating king f7, queen takes. King takes knight h4, king f7, g6. Then king f6. Not quite working. I have this move. This move is nice. That's a simple move, too. I like that move. Yeah, the crab is snapping away. I'm down a piece. Ooh, look at this. It's a C for crab. <laughs> okay. So many crab... Crab, uh... Terms? Or associations? I don't know. This is looking really fun, though. I think Black's actually kind of in trouble. Obviously I'm threatening Maiden 1. I'm not sure what Black does to stop it. And it's raining really hard. The, the power better not go out. I just need the internet to survive for just a few more minutes. Alexa, tell me a fun fact about crabs. Here's a fact about crabs. Mm. According to Wikipedia, in some species, crab meat is harvested by manually twisting and pulling off one or both claws oh. and returning the live crab to the water in the belief the crab will survive and regenerate the claws, oh. thereby making it a sustainable industry. I don't know if that was a fun fact or just a traumatizing fact. G6. All right, let's take a bishop. Wow, what is this move? Oh, that's a very clever move. That was really clever. I can take this though. But kudos to my opponent for finding that. The brain is tiny smaller than the point of a pencil. Hmm. Is that an insult? Or maybe it's just a fact. All right, let's fee and Keller the queen. <laughs> threatening, threatening mate in one again. I'm threatening two different mates in one. Hmm. That was not the move I was expecting. I was expecting d4, but that's probably playable. 
if I take... Hmm. I just want to, like, sack a queen, even though it doesn't work at all. It kind of looks fun. I guess we're going to have to trade bishops. We trade... Yeah, let's trade. We're not too many other options. We can trade again. It's interesting. Let's trade again. Let's see what black does. Giving black a choice here. Yeah, so that's actually the move I was hoping for, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure if I can punish it. I was getting queen f6. Takes, takes, king g8. And then... And maybe I have to play like g4, g5. Let's go for it. We're, we're entering a new stage of the game called the endgame. But it's also blitz now, as opposed to rapid. We're both below three minutes. And time's close to, to even. I don't think I'm scared of this. Here's king e2. Maybe I am scared. I don't know. Knight d3, king e2. Knight f4. This could be a mess. Oh. I looked away at the chat, and now there's all this debate about, like, diets. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of hard to follow. Okay, let's focus on the game. And let's focus on probably getting in some g5. If I get in g5, then all I need to do is teleport my rook from a1 to h8. And these pawns will be very stable. It's actually a really cool position. Okay, let's not lose a rook. Oh, rook c1's coming. I'll play rook b1. If rook c1 I, I take, and then knight d4, and the knight's kind of stuck. Knight d3 might be coming. Let's start with this. Okay. Whoa. That was a, a failed arrow. That was really weird. The arrow like lagged there for a moment. Yeah, I've, I want to draw it from, from b1 to h4. So the way to get there is via b4. But I can't play rook b4 immediately because this. And knight e4 might happen. Or rook e4. All right, let's play rook. I guess rook h3. I have to be very careful how I handle this. I'm just going to bring the king to g2. Th this should be good enough. And black's very low on time. And probably getting mated. Or maybe not yet. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Wait, it's still not working because rook g4. It's so close, though. 
So I'm thinking 95. Doesn't quite work. Actually, let's go for this. Yeah, I've, at first I saw rook g4, king f1, rook c1. But now I'm realizing I have 91. And this is this is finally winning, I believe. Okay, the crab has been a success. Don't mess with the crab. <laughs> Thanks for the game, full down. Apologies for playing a slightly insulting opening, but a very lovable sea creature. Oh yeah, people in the chat. Share your love for the crab. Uh, was it YouTube worthy? I don't know if, if I should analyze so much this game. It was an interesting game though. This was a fun position. And oh, the funny thing, I didn't even make this, this comparison. This is a fishing pole trap. But I don't know who was fishing. Was the crab the one fishing? Or was the crab caught, but then resurrected? I don't know. 